Hello everyone, very good morning and thank you very much for your immense love and support. In today's session, we are going to learn about how we can use the breakpoint using the checkpoint group. You know that when in a program, when we write simply the breakpoint, it's always going to stop at that particular point. Now, Suppose if you want to stop at that particular breakpoint sometime and sometime you don't want to stop at that particular breakpoint. So you require a control, right? You require a control. For that purpose, what you can use that, you can use this syntax breakpoint ID and here you can mention the checkpoint group. And in the checkpoint group, the corresponding option for breakpoint you can activate. So when you are going to activate, this breakpoint will be activated. If it is deactivated, then it's going to be deactive. Then it will not stop over there. Let me show you. Come over here and now go to that particular transaction, S double A B. So this is the transaction S double A B. Here I have already created a checkpoint group. I will be going over there and going into the change mode. And here, select this break. And now save it over here. It will ask for the time by what time this checkpoint group is going to be, you know, effective. So that we can mention it over there. That's one benefit. Click on this OK and click on this, you know, so save, save, when you are going to save, it will be asking for the date and time by when you are going to uh, make it uh, active that you will have to give and the user for a particular set of user, if you, you, you can give it you know, so that it will stop for a particular set of user or if you want to activate globally, click over here and select this global activation and then select this breakpoint and click on this. Okay, I don't want to activate globally. I want to activate for certain user by default because I'm creating for me, it will be by default activated. Okay, now it's uh, active now. It's it's break at the, uh, the break radio button is selected. So it's a breakpoint ID is active here. Syntax is breakpoint id give the name of that particular checkpoint group okay and that's it over here this much only i'll have to give check the syntax and activate it activate it now just run it and now run it you can see that it's going to stop it over here because this particular breakpoint id is activated at this moment so it got it is stopped over here. Now, you don't want to stop for that particular, you know, breakpoint. So select over here in active, click on the save button. Okay. Now, just run it and you will see that now it will not stop it over here. Run this and you can see that now it didn't stop over there. Why? Because this breakpoint ID is deactivated currently right for, for the break it's inactive that's why now this if you simply give the breakpoint it will be always activated okay it will be always activated this we know already right it will be always activated if you simply give the breakpoint id so to control the breakpoint activation right you can see that so so to control the breakpoint you know, we can use the checkpoint group over here. Okay. Now, one more thing over here, very interesting. Suppose if you have the breakpoint ID and you want to capture a particular log at this particular moment. So what you can do, suppose whatever you have the log, I'm going to just create a log. So a data LV underscore log equals to you know, uh, this is uh, here. This is my system breakpoint and log. 
full stop and one thing that this should be of car 40 characters this should be of car 40 characters so you will have to convert this one into car 40 characters so car 40 just i'm going to give over here so that you know it will be converted and give this lv underscore log full stop so here uh, here it's uh, let me check i'm doing some mistake in the uh, syntax let's have the correct syntax over here press f1 and this is what the log text you are having right so for the log text let us see the syntax over here syntax and the simply will have to give the breakpoint and log underscore text okay simply will have to give breakpoint log underscore text breakpoint id is not required over here okay simply breakpoint log underscore text is sufficient okay so id group or either log text okay so when you are going to uh, uh, use this log underscore text when you have to capture the log in that case checkpoint group is not required so this is a, a different you know this is a different one so let me convert here itself it is for uh, conversion and use this and now this one okay so it will be car 40 I, I want to get it converted into cap 40 so just i'm using this cap 40 so this will be of cap 40 okay and here now simply this checkpoint group is not required lv underscore log is sufficient as per documentation just we have seen check the syntax over here some uh breakpoint id simply breakpoint will have to give id is not required check the syntax now and activate this one activate this one so what it will do actually it will capture the log when you are going to run this particular transaction in the background. In the foreground, there will be no any effect. Just run this and run this. No. So in the foreground, you can see just it has stopped. But this particular log is what? This is my system breakpoint, right? This is my system breakpoint. And just press F it. Now, where this log get captured. So this log will get captured in the system log. This will be captured as a system log. So you can see that slash O SM21. If you go here in SM21 and uh, now give my user for my user actually, uh, I'm doing so this time giving my user and run this. You can see that uh, that particular uh, that particular value, what it is supposed to, this is my system breakpoint and log, right? Just search for that. This is my system breakpoint log. It is not there, right? That means this is not captured, right? Why it is not captured? This is not captured because we are running in foreground. So if you run in foreground, this particular system log does not get captured, okay? When you run this program in background, because in background, this ba when you run this particular program in background, this breakpoint is not going to come into effect right but what you can do if you want to capture the log for this particular position you know you it's possible right so just run in background and you will see that here currently we are having how many entries for this user uh three three six and seven there total there are seven entries right now i'm going to run in background um, execute sorry go here and from here we can execute in background click on this okay okay and immediately run in the background okay so let's go to sm37 and see here the one this is what i am running and it got finished right so 11 20 59 right so here 11 20 59 it's 11.24. So let's see for the 11.24 if we have anything. 
1124 there is nothing over here for 1124 okay so it looks like it has not captured the log let me check what's the issue over here this is my program name this is fine this is 11.20. Let me sort it. Okay. I'm going to sort it. And in the descending order. So 11.25. It's 11.20. No. Let me check with the system time. It's 11.22, right? So just one or two minutes back. So this is the log which we are having over here, right? 1120. So this is fine. It got captured over here, right? It has run and this is what we are having. Now, let us see if the log has been captured from seven to eight, it has been on. Yes, you can see that one from seven to eight, it has been just I'm going to sort in descending order so that it will come at top. This is what you can see that breakpoint. This is my system breakpoint and log reached, right? This is what it has been created now so breakpoint right this is my system breakpoint and log correct so here uh, you can just go and check slash in sc38 this is what i have given over here so we have given over here right here actually here i have given data lv underscore log conversion car 40 i'm making sure that it should be you know converted into the car 40 characters otherwise it may have issue uh here breakpoint lv underscore log so this is my system breakpoint and log right this is what it is written over here this is my system breakpoint log breakpoint and this reached has been added by the system okay so hope you understood how this breakpoint with this uh, uh, if you want to capture the log in the background this is how you can capture when you will be running in foreground it will not capture remember this okay and uh, when you want to have the breakpoint activated right for a particular id or whenever you want uh, your breakpoint should be active we can use the breakpoint then this id and then the checkpoint group and you can go and select the break option over there so that it will be activated so with this i'm done uh, with the today's value session if you are looking training for sap abap uh, with the from from very basic to advanced level then please reach out to me on my mobile number it's at seven double zero four three five two seven two this is also my whatsapp number the country code is 91 this is mobile number and then the email id you can reach out Pankaj kumaram at the rate of gmail.com thank you very much for watching this session have a nice day bye bye